Hello and welcome back to another HPE Aruba video brought to you by Ingram Micro. My name is Brandon Atchley and I'm a technical enablement engineer here at Ingram Micro focused on all things HPE Aruba. In today's video, we're going to talk about HPE Aruba's Edge Connect SD WAN portfolio. Now let's start off by talking about SASE. So SASE is the combination of an SD-WAN and an SSE Security Services Edge solution being used together. In this video, however, we're only going to talk about the SD-WAN, the left side of this picture, which includes things like routing, dynamic path selection, WAN optimization, and SAS acceleration. To understand more about the benefits of SD-WAN, let's take a look at this image of then and now. In the then image, we have a central data center in a castle and moat type architecture where we housed all of our data and applications in a central data center and we layered different security solutions on top like data loss prevention, next generation firewall, and unified threat management. In this architect, our branch locations and our remote users would connect to the data center to access all of their data and applications or utilize the data center security solutions to traverse out to the public cloud. In today's world, however, we have a lot more of our applications and our data living in the cloud, which requires us to be a little bit more flexible with how our users and our locations connect together. This is when we leverage SD-WAN to give us the flexibility to connect to the destination that we need to and leverage different cloud security solutions to maintain security of our users and our locations to wherever or whatever location they need to connect to. Here we take a look at the Edge Connect SD-WAN platform. To start it off, we look at the orchestrator, which is really the brains of the entire SD-WAN fabric. And this can be deployed on-prem as a virtual machine, can be deployed in the cloud as a virtual machine, or be hosted by HPE as a service. Now we look at the appliances, which can be deployed physical, which we'll see more of in the next slide can be deployed virtual in things like a hypervisor like VMware or HPE's VM Essentials and gives you a little bit more growth benefits or can be deployed in the cloud in things like AWS or Azure to give you cloud connectivity with your cloud infrastructure. Now that portion is the main bulk of the Edge Connect solution. However, we do have some optional components that we can layer on top, things like WAN optimization to give you some WAN improvements or some additional security benefits with our dynamic threat defense advanced security that enables things like intrusion detection or intrusion prevention services. As promised, let's take a look at the hardware appliances offered in the Edge Connect portfolio. There's a multitude of different appliances offered ranging from the 101004, which is designed for small branch and home office locations, giving us a WAN throughput of up to 500 megs, all the way up to the brand new EC10150, which is designed for large data center hubs, handling up to 12 gigs of throughput and gives us functionality like redundant power, redundant SSD NVMe drives. And this chart gives us the different connectivity that these appliances handle, so that way we can select the right appliance for your location's needs. Here we take a look at the subscription licensing for the Edge Connect platform. It's really broken down into two options, foundation and advanced. Foundation is really the cost effective option that gives you the essential SD-WAN feature set along with the advanced next generation firewall services. We have three bandwidth tiers giving us 100 megs, one gig and unlimited. This is a limited topology allowing for a max of four regions and four hubs and is limited on the VRFs, the business intent overlays and the quality of service. The foundation level licenses is hosted as a service in the cloud for the orchestrator. Whereas if we wanted an on-prem orchestrator, we'd have to look at the advanced tier. Now the advanced tier offers all the functionality. It gives us the advanced SD-WAN. It gives us the advanced next generation firewall features. There's eight bandwidth tiers, allowing for more flexibility for the bandwidth at your locations. Unlimited topology, so you can include a mesh networking, so there's no restrictions on how you design your networks. There's full access to the VRFs, the business intent overlays, and no restrictions with quality of service. 
And then with the advanced, we have the ability to either still host it as a service through HPE or put it on-prem with the orchestrator. Now, either of these are gonna include all of the common SD-WAN functionality. So we have the things like path conditioning, first packet IQ, the zero touch provisioning, and the advanced routing capabilities. Now, as mentioned in a previous slide, we have some optional additions that we can do, things like WAN optimization, the dynamic threat defense, which gives us the intrusion detection and prevention, and then we have the ability to do the global orchestrator for enterprises that have locations all around the world and need some segmentation with a single point of glass management. Let's talk about some of the magic behind the Edge Connect solution, which is the business intent overlays. So the business intent overlays are essentially a collection of metrics that we want different applications on our networks to adhere to. In this diagram, we have three overlays. We have the real time, the critical apps, and the default. And these are broken up into local applications versus cloud applications. In the real time overlay, we'll look at voice and video, and we'll see the different metrics utilized to connect to them, right? We might select our MPLS circuit, We'll set things like very low loss with 1% loss, maybe 400 milliseconds of latency, 200 milliseconds of jitter. And we'd configure this in a mesh connectivity topology so that way our locations can all connect to each other. As far as our SaaS applications, we'd layer things like Zoom, WebEx, Ring Central, and Teams into this overlay. And we'd have her leverage our best internet circuit along with our local firewalls to make sure that this overlay has the best performance as possible. Now looking at our critical apps, these would be things like our Oracle database or SAP instance that we have on premise. We'd have a high quality with low loss, maybe 2% loss, a little bit higher latency at 600 milliseconds and 300 milliseconds of jitter, just above the real time because we still want our voice and video to perform better. This might be deployed as a spoke topology. We don't need all of the applications and locations connecting directly to each other, just to our main data centers. And we'd put in different SaaS applications like Microsoft 365, Dropbox, and Salesforce into this. We'd still leverage our best circuit for our WAN connectivity. However, in this, we might start leveraging things like our cloud SSC security to add the security layer right onto those cloud applications. Now our last overlay is our default overlay, and this is really a catch-all, high efficiency. We're gonna have a little bit more latency, jitter, and loss on this. These would be like our local file shares or general internet traffic, general browsing, YouTube, or social media. This would load balance our internet connections, not leveraging necessarily our best circuit, but maybe our secondary ISP connection, and would still leverage our SSE cloud applications for the security. And this is essentially the magic behind the Edge Connect because it categorizes all of the traffic on our networks and how we want them to be optimized and move through our networks. This next diagram gives us a little look at the flexibility we have with our connection methods. We have a branch office that gives us the ability to direct connect to the internet, to our trusted applications, things like Ring Central or Zoom to give us the best performance. We then have breakout via cloud security, which is leveraging a SSE layer in the cloud that gives us security living right alongside our cloud-based applications, things like Salesforce, Dropbox, or Workday to make sure we're secured to the cloud resources that we're connecting to. And then last, we have the direct connect to our HQ data center that allows us to access the resources still living on-prem like our SAP or Oracle databases. This next slide really highlights the advanced security capabilities we have within the Edge Connect platform. To highlight, we were the first vendor that got certified by the ICSA Labs in Secure SD-WAN, which essentially tested our platform with the same testing that they use for next generation firewalls in the industry. And we were the first vendor that had a secure SD-WAN offering. We have the full gambit of next generation firewall services from things like Stateful Firewall, Intrusion Detection, DDoS protection, along with the ability to do 
application and access control through identity-based policies. On this slide, what I like to highlight is the multiple SSE vendors that the Edge Connect solution supports. Although HPE does have their own SSE solution that is fully integrated, we do give you the option to support whatever SSE vendor you wish, from vendors like Netscope, Palo Alto, and Zscaler, to McAfee, Symantec, and Checkpoint. You have the flexibility to leverage whatever SSE you wish. The Edge Connect solution is able to deliver the highest quality of experience, utilizing services like path conditioning, which allows us to bond multiple internet circuits together and create an overlay tunnel, and then apply services like forward error correction and packet order correction that allows us to turn broadband internet circuits into an MPLS-like connection. We have the WAN optimization, which we can do with TCP protocol acceleration and data deduplication and compression to send less data over the WAN links. And then real-time application experience that gives us the ability to make our voice and video the highest quality over the broadband circuits by leveraging our business intent overlays to prioritize the different traffic. Another benefit of the Edge Connect solution is App Express. App Express essentially allows us to take the multiple internet connections, measures the connectivity to the SSE or data centers in the cloud for the cloud resources, and essentially gives you a performance score of those connections. It'll measure all the paths, the latency, the loss, the jitter, and allows you to steer traffic down the best path possible to maintain the best connectivity to the cloud resources. Let's take one last look at the Edge Connect platform and recap some of the services we talked about like the built-in next generation firewall that we have within this platform, allowing you to replace a traditional branch firewall. The app performance benefits that can accelerate things like SaaS application connectivity or the WAN optimization and the path conditioning features that are baked right in. What we didn't discuss are services like the network visibility and reporting, so you can have a full complete view of your entire SD-WAN fabric and all your locations or the automation with zero touch provisioning so you can deploy and onboard a new location within the matter of minutes. This is the Edge Connect SD-WAN platform. And I appreciate you watching this video. Again, my name is Brandon Ashley, and if you wanna connect, please see the link within the description of this video on methods that you can use to reach out to us and learn more. Thank you.